Well, this is no surprise to anybody. <laughs> hey there, uh, everybody. Logan here with, I told you, another Legend of Zelda video. So this one was pretty interesting. I actually saw this, I want to say it was yesterday. And I was not surprised. I was like, I'm really hoping me and my buddies uh, have been talking about this quite a bit. If you have, again, subscribed and watched or at least listened to Ready to Start podcast, we've talked about it quite a bit. Me and the guys on there, we've talked about uh, a Legend of Zelda movie. And with Nintendo doing so well on the Super Mario Brothers movie, it's just kind of common sense at this point. And this article supports that, again, from Nintendo Life. They're, 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 they're helping me bang out videos today. Not that they know it, but thank you, Nintendo Life. So here we go. Let's take a look at this right now. Uh, A.G. Aonuma, interested, interested in Zelda movie after Mario's $1 billion box office success. But he might need the support of fans like you and me and you and me and you. Okay. I have a little bit of energy today. Why? It's the G Fuel. Okay. Not sponsored. I just thought I would do that. G Fuel, if you're if you're watching this, you're probably not, but hey, someone might. <laughs> so that is some gorgeous artwork, by the way. That was from uh one of the novels, I think it is. Yeah, Viz Media. Uh I have a few of those novels. That's they're actually pretty good. They're they're actually uh mangas, but still. I still call them novels. I don't know why, because of the shape of the book, I guess. So let's let's read. The Mario movie by Illumination managed to bank more than one billion at the box office in just 26 days, seemingly opening the door for other movies set within the Nintendo universe. You know why? Because they're not stupid like Disney. I'm sorry for all you Disney fans. I used to be a huge Disney fan, but I don't like what they're doing. Their movies are crap. They've really hurt Marvel and Star Wars. And their animated movies have just been poo. So Nintendo went, hold my beer. Universal, let's do this. Illumination, hey, you minions, guys, let's do this. And they did it, and they did it right. This is how you make a movie. This is how you make an animated movie for everybody. We all loved it. It's fantastic. Peaches, 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 peaches. Pe okay, I know you've seen a million of those shorts and videos. Oh, uh, let me get back to reading. So how about a Zelda movie? In a recent interview with Polygon, ew. yeah, we don't like Polygon either. <laughs> Producer, why did he do that? Okay. A.G. Aonuma was asked if a big screen adventure starring Link could happen in the future. While he's definitely open to the idea, unfortunately, it takes more than just himself to get the ball rolling. Here's the full exchange. Question. Does the recent success of the Mario movie have you excited for the prospect of a Zelda adaptation? Aonuma. I have to say, I am interested, for sure. But it's not just me being interested in something that makes things happen, unfortunately. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom director Hidemaru Fujibayashi, hopefully I didn't slaughter that too badly, followed up on Aonuma's response, mentioning how fans would essentially have to speak up. Fujibayashi Maybe the voice of the fans is what's important here. Yes, speak up, everybody, about a great Zelda movie. And we have Illumination do it again because Universal knows where it's at, even with their parks. I can't wait for Epic Universe to open up. The Zelda series has been around for 35 years now, with Breath of the Wild currently the fourth highest selling game on the Nintendo Switch, shifting close to 30 million copies. Such a good game. The latest release, Tears of the Kingdom, is already off to a strong start, quickly becoming 2023's highest rated game of the year, and once again highlighting the timeless popularity of the classic Nintendo franchise. Fortunately for Aonuma, it looks like he might already have support from Nintendo legend Shigeru Miyamoto. What an amazing guy with the creator of Mario last month teasing the possibility of more 
of the company's franchise is being adapted into movies and animations. Both Illumination and Nintendo also seem to think this is just the beginning, with Miyamoto mentioning how he was sure the two companies would stick together going forward. How epic is that? That's almost like a, hey, we, we're going to do it. We just need to make sure you guys want it kind of thing. It's like, just tell us, just, just let us know you want it, and it'll happen. We're going to do it, but you got to tell us. It's kind of one of those things. It's like, hey, eh, 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 kind of thing. But I'm looking forward to it. I love that Mario movie. It was great. Mario just really grew into his own. He went from a nobody to a super Mario. He had that growth. He had that... <sighs> Oh, that strength that where he became, all right, he had to learn. He had to grow. He saved his brother. He saved the woman he loved. He saved the world. Well, at least Brooklyn and uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario was the man. Been looking forward to the next one. Really looking forward to the next movie. So, and I'm looking forward to Legend of Zelda. Again, you guys know I'm a massive Nintendo fan. Uh Nintendo's really the only company that hasn't let me down in the last generation. Uh, Sony's really stepped their game up. Xbox has really dropped the ball completely. And you've, yeah, if you've watched my channel for more than two weeks, you you know how I feel about uh, Xbox and Microsoft and what they've done, what they used to mean to me and whatnot. But Nintendo, Nintendo has never been perfect. No, but they are still the best of the best, in my opinion. They put out the best games and now the best game movies. I love The Legend of Zelda. I love Super Mario. I love Metroid. I love F-Zero. Please, can we get another F-Zero? I love Star Fox. Even Star Fox Zero was terrible. I still love the Star Fox franchise. Nintendo has some of the best. But some of their new ones, Splatoon is great. Super Smash Brothers is an awesome uh, game. Mario Kart, you know, there's just so many good titles. So many good titles. And Legend of Zelda, of course, being probably top of that list for me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Turn that bell on for notifications. Why? So you know when I put out new videos. And we have new episodes of uh, Ready to Start Podcast. You can't miss those. Go back and watch our last one with Wicked Virtue. It was, it, it was, it was great. Great episode. Great episode. We, we, we enjoyed ourselves. Thank you guys so much. Tell me what you think about a Legend of Zelda movie. I really want to hear it. Thank you guys so much. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.